Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here and today, oh my god. Oh my god, you did this. Yes, you you actually did this. So today we have update 23. Yes, I know there was a request and I skipped few of them, but oh boy, oh boy, Undead Labs delivered. So, here it is. So we have lethal difficulty and basically what what what's happening is we received nightmare and they delivered us the, the the box of pain and suffering and then turned off turned away and and, and start walking away and someone like this is easy and they're like what did you say what did you say all right all right now we have oh my goodness i read through already so <sighs> They, they already made game difficult and the nightmare to be honest I kind I don't want to say I, do, I didn't enjoy but basically the game is punishing player all right now now and and the the, the ridiculous part of it and, and I need to say it right away so no one interprets interprets it differently absolutely my my love my love and and appreciation to the developers 100 percent they are the best despite the words i will be using in this video but they those crazy guys they delivered exactly those links those links they lead to the players asking for more difficulty so they delivered what not every one of us but what we wanted so um uh, the video itself they just explain how now you now you receive what you asked for uh i will put down in the description as well the that the, the, that's a two minute video but i'm not taking that that time so what we have of course they i'm going through so you see some pictures but in a moment let's let's jump to the uh, we jump already on patch notes themselves and there's a huge list of it and, and it's not only about the lethal so there's more more than that as always there the undead, undead labs guys are just like just just we love you people and we love you bad guys so yeah so what we have in lethal action so combat is unfair did the same as, as Nightmare, just cranked up. So what we have, all sources deal 100% damage to player. So plus 100%, that means double the damage to player. In comparison, Nightmare is just, just your child play. Infection gains from zombie attacks are dubbed. Infection from play, consum from play consumables is unchained from Nightmare the same so you get it yeah you are being infected if you use the consumables uh those super advanced that anyway blood plague kills survivor within five minutes of infection compared to 10 in nightmare five minutes is sometimes if you're far away like other side of the map right and you are in the middle of fight and you get infection remember once you are infected you have a time the timer it goes down with every time you encounter uh, the, uh, the the plague again like if you're keep, if you're keep standing in, in uh, the plague or being bitten by the plague zombies again and again the time shrinks and sure sure zombies can cause nearly twice as many different injuries as they do in lower difficulties leading to deeper injuries injury attacks piling up especially so they're like eh, zombies you want to cripple the player player go for it <laughs> it's just insane uh <laughs> what else we have um duplicate injuries instead of apply 80 percent of the injury as trauma compared to a 66 percent in nightmare 
right? Dodging cost, nice as much. And, and, and yeah, more than, than, than in Nightmare. Vehicles take 300% damage additional uh, from hitting or getting hit by zombies compared to merely half of the, the, the increasement in Nightmare. They also take 200 additional 200 damage from other sources compared to pff, that's that's just child's play and just be, saying child's play doesn't mean I, I'm, I'm way too rusty and, and, and Russian guys out of the league for a long time already so that's why Nightmare was already like kind of tough now, now I've <clears throat> the undead are terrifying and relentless. So there was some points I was like, seriously? So, all freaks are replaced with Blood Plague freaks from Heartland. That's cool. That that I asked myself. Why we don't have them in, in another game? We have them. You can encounter hordes with one of each Plague freaks. You can encounter hordes with one of each Plague freaks. It's like party, cool. Gun noises are raised by additional 150% compared to alpha. Yeah. Nice. nice. Bringing even more zombies. Zombies will now chase the sound up to five minutes. Five minutes compared to giving up after one minute in nightmare. Got your <laughs> running shoes on. It's like that. I, I can't imagine running trying to run in zombie apocalypse where everywhere you turn you can j run in another uh the, the the plague party and for five minutes you try to avoid it's it, it's already night it, it's like nightmare of the nightmare at this moment satan is looking like what seriously okay and that we are not even started this is just beginning the baseline siege threat at your base starts at 8 compared to 5 in Nightmare. But wait, there's more. Plague Hearts are extremely tenacious and dangerous. Destroying a Plague Heart does not kill nearby Plague Zombies. So in speedrun, it was always uh, killing the Plague Heart. Every Plague Zombie around uh, just, just dies. It's like, boom, you're. You, that's that's why you aim to kill the play hard because that's that like checkpoint check mark everyone dies you are alive in this moment no every single zombie stays and keep in mind if you want to of course people will do the speedruns if you run to the next play hard all those zombies will follow for five minutes to you. so it's 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 inevitable that you are just gonna die a lot. <laughs> okay, play cards take significantly less damage. Note that melee is now um, a bit more effective than other weapons. Get get close and personal. That's that's reasonable. At least something they give us. Melee takes all uh, minus fifty percent of the damage, so all of the damage. Uh, range takes minus sixty two percent. Explosion minus sixty two. Fire minus sixty. Two and vehicle impact. At this moment, I was like, who found a way how far can get into the house? And, or probably that's where in the barn you can somehow. Uh, anyways, I, I'm I'm just questioning my choices of killing a knight, uh, the, the, the blood plane. And you see, vehicle impact in nightmare it takes minus twenty five percent of damage. So. Three, fourth, you still manage to in in this lethal. It's like one four. It's like what? It's just it's again. And then now we have a little two puppies, two puppies running around. Cool, cool. No, we are not done yet. There's even more. What's what what's what else is there? About seventy to eighty percent of houses are pre-looted. So. 75% of three out of four houses you run into 
will be pre-looted, like kind of empty. There are zero non-guaranteed resources drop of any kind. Any kind. Like, like, you want that something? Well, shame. You know, it's 2020. Eh. <laughs> that means you only get the resources you expect from looking at the site uh, layout on the map screen. If that never any surprise bonus frag sacks. But just, just they're just taking away loot as well. Other lucky fine drops are similarly reduced to very low rates or even zero, including a lot of my mid-range guns. Don't need guns. You can run away in five minutes from any zombie. Yeah. Good luck finding a ride. The map has only three 33% of normal number of vehicles compared to 65 in Nightmare. So half of the half of the Nightmare vehicle. And vehicles are always out of the gas and seriously damaged. Like, forget about it. You want a ride, find one, repair it, refuel it. And then remember, you take plus 300 additional damage. That is kind of pointless at this moment it's just you just need to avoid everything play cards are everywhere so what we have with play cards there are three times the standard number of play cards compared to 1.5 times in nightmares so freaking what it's just i don't recall the number of play cards it's a about 10, 12, something, something like that. Now we have phase 30s. Uh, I'm, I'm questioning myself because I, I, I already heard here from uh, how somebody is typing uh, the, the answer to this question in, in comment section. And thank you, thank you for that. Um, play cards are hidden, and the radio command to find them is available, so you can find. It. Uh, play cards are allowed to cluster up with each other like crazy, unlike in Nightmare. So, this moment I was reading like, Im imagine houses where are in, I don't know in the city or, or a small town, where there's a play card in next building, play card and another. Like, it, this is pos possibility now. It's allowed. Previously, it was generated like it never happened. Now, like, you want three play cards at one? Similar books. And remember, not a single zombie will die when you kill one of them. At this moment, I'm like, what? Like, what? So, yeah, about that. Um, what else? You, you, you think that? You think, nah, I can work with that? Wait, there is more. Lethal community. Your survivors now are no they are doomed. I can't read, I'm just I lose my, 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 my mind reading this. All survivors have minus 13 morale penalty compared to minus 15 nightmare. All survivors gain experience minus 60 the normal rate. Nightmare used to be 50, but we reduced the penalty. That's easy. All survivors gain standings at minus 40 the normal rate. Nightmare is minus. 30. And Nightmare used to be 30%, but they reduced because it was too insane. Now it's yeah, it's, it's those numbers are like so 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 people in the uh, in the community will be like, oh, I wanna die. And there's plenty of choice for that. Resources are consumed quickly because we are not over yet. Ethel is here. Uh, I just want to see the picture of, of the big guy. Uh, survivors consume two food each compared to 1.5 in Nightmare. Normal, of course, it's, it's normally one food. So double. Food outposts provide two food to compensate. And the time they won't break in the entire county Okay, well, at this time they won't break your entire community when the update launches. 
the bugs from previous uh, launches. Costs at the base are increased over Nightmare in few areas. Just, just, just a few, okay. Ammo costs are plus 115% compared to double. Material costs are also plus 150. So, two and a half times. Costs, oh, parts costs are double. Only double compared to 50% increasement. Weapon repair costs are 50% compared to 25 so basically also tuning up double from nightmare vehicle fuel efficiency is reduced by 25 compared to no reduction at nightmare how dare you give us no reduction at nightmare so i'm just i'm just at this moment zombies are just just crazy your your community is just doomed resources are not there uh, it's, yeah and and then the rest of that so again i remind you this is coming from wishlist right it it literally comes from all wishlist uh what we also have also have here other difficulty changes from the wish wishlist nightmare action now features Blood Plague Screamers and Bloaters in addition to existing Blood Plague Juggernauts. Blood Plague Bloaters now do half as much plague damage when exploding because otherwise they were literally instant death and hit by a vehicle at lethal. So they they made it made made habit was and like oh everyone dies if you hit. I just wonder why didn't you leave at that? You die at any time any moment anyway but <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, this is balanced out by the more intense burning lung injury placed as gas inhalation so blood plague screamers also have new injury they apply to avoid problems with one shutting survivors at little difficult so so they they made an, an, an copy basically like oh they're dying it's one shotting like hey okay, let's 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 balance a little bit, so two shots, die. <laughs> now they apply, apply a single shot chemical burns injury 75% of the time. Reduce the prevalence of crossbows across the board, as players have reported they have showing up too often. They used to spawn more often at high levels of difficulties, blah blah blah, yeah, at lethal it's uh, 50%. Fuel efficiency, uh, which is increased at green difficulty and reduced at lethal difficulty, now lives on community slider instead of mob slider. All right. So this is basically it. Then we have optimi optimized for accessories. We have, yeah. Don't worry, stay frosty. Uh, let's let's see what's there. But basically, about the lethal, that that that's that the list we have. So. Every single aspect of the game is like you get pain and suffering. Wait, oh yeah, we sorry, 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 misery also. So those three, here you go. You're lethal. Jesus Christ. But okay, let's let's move on. What what else we have? They added even more because on that labs, guys, they are awesome. Awesome. So, cold turkey. What's, what's the lineup with perfect shot to include the meals as long range? This long range shotgun that with choke oversized scope and large tube magazine. Bounty item. Okay, these are bounty items, so I see. I'll just read, you'll find them yourself. Midnight Solstice. Uh, yeah, trust me, this will be bad. I, I'm just, I, I can't read the names I'm not familiar with. So, D. Bertini. Okay, that's what? Short barrel version, okay. Uh, Samurai SMG, okay, that, that went well. HBPDW, personal defense weapon, that, that's what, what it stands for. Yeah, that I learned in Phoenix Point. <laughs> so, HBSD Blackout, submachine gun. Then we have HB, what is HB? What am I missing? Uh, HB Snow Fox sounds like 
rapid option, submachine gun, okay, as well, okay, auto blitz, oblitzer, that is what, oh, 50 cal, that sounds like huge, huge killer gun, and tactical walking stick, basically a stick made of durable composite materials, okay, um, there's more, there's more, of course, there's more uh, bounty items. These are all uh, Yukon Pathbreaker, Maintenance Bench. What? Install this in facility mode and spend few parts and temporarily reduce the durability loss for your weapons. Nice, so this is not a weapon. What, what is the Yukon, Yukon Pathbreaker? This light will time and survival. It's isn't defensive, still in the arsenal, but probably saves you. Okay, so this is a weapon, but this is a facility. Why you put them in one list? Okay. Uh, winter camo tactical uniform. Okay, we admit it. This is mostly for style. Okay, cool. We like stylish things. Winter camo bonnie hat. Goes perfectly with the matching tactical uniform. And there's even more updates. So additional updates. Uh, of course, with the new lethal, there comes new achievements. Uh, four new achievements. Uh, Lilac and Spoiled Gooseberries. Kill 25 Blood Lake Bloaters. Bless me now with your fierce tears. Begin a session with minimum difficulty set to lethal. So, okay. Like crying out loud. Uh, Barber Shop Quartet. Kill one each of the four Blood Lake Freaks. Difficulty set to lethal, so basically you are able to kill something. <laughs> Good luck with that. Under two, biomass kill a plague heart with minimum difficulty set to lethal. So okay, these these can be achieved, and then your community can die out. That that's how I see. It. All existing achievements that require you to complete them in dread night difficulty now also allow you to complete them in lethal difficulty. Thought, why would you? Yeah, of course, you play the hardest difficulty. So, there's even more, even more updates, not regarding lethal, but other things, I guess. Uh, three achievements that require you to kill Blood Lake freaks in Heartland now allow you to bleed them in core game, especially though three are hunting the hunters, Trum Trumble, Wally, Oyer. Oyer? Oyer? Uh, they grow and big around here. And two achievements that require you to cure the plague in yourself and others and hundred times in Heartland now also allow you to complete them in the core game because it's actually reasonable to go through that much plague cure at playful difficulty. Especially those two achievements are heal thyself and playing doctor. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? They overhaul the value of prestige. This is this is also important because we talked a lot about Daybreak. The uh, bonuses they give in Daybreak is awesome, but the currency, the prestige, is only acquired in Daybreak. People kind of don't like it as much, so they eased it out a bit. So each Daybreak session uh, is is more rewarding and make clear firearms more economically economically viable. So, what they did, now you should expect as twice as much prestige per uh, daybreak session. Uh, all your means of obtaining ammunition of clear weapons in the game have been also more affordable, so few of them. Uh, a red tile on crafting station can now craft clear ammo without charging prestige. It only costs ammo resources, so once you get the weapon, Ammo can be crafted in this specific crafting station, but without costing prestige. So basically, now it means Cleo weapons are back in the, on the table because you don't need to run back to daybreak uh, earning prestige. Uh, the Cleo Cleo relay can now call a Cleo ammo drops for an influence cost, not prestige cost. Okay. And Cleo ammo sold by Prestige Trader now costs half as much 
prestige as did before, so basically cheaper. But still prestige. Uh, we, they also updated the reward tiers for Daybreak to loosen up the requirements. That means you can now unlock more powerful but items at wave 3 and wave 4. So those are the checkpoints in between when you uh, move forward in, in Daybreak. The only reward item that requires you to win Daybreak to unlock is the Cleo Relay. Relay. Understandable. For the wishlist sorta, the mysterious wandering trader can now show up on Mondays, in addition to Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays to fit into more players' schedule. Okay, okay, that's good. The dread action difficulty sliders now correctly reports that zombies do not appear on a minimap under normal condition. They also fixed few UI ability. Uh, what else? So there's more, there's more in the bold mission markers that we originally use for the opening missions in Providence Ridge now apply to all missions through the game. That means you can see your current mission objectives as an icon in the HUD, not just an arrow in a minimap. If that isn't your thing, blah blah blah, or the objectives and settings menu, you can, you can turn it off. Your survivors start a new campaign, complaining that they are out of gas, you can no longer immediately open the trunk the vehicle and find that it's full of gas. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Little this inconvenience. Uh, they removed it. And built-in facilities found in Prescott Fire Station now count properly towards progressing the builder. Safe at home and builder strength in number missions. Alright, what else? Facilities, the actions of staging area that accelerate building time. Accelerate building times now take only 5 seconds to trigger rather than half an hour, which defeats the purpose. Thank you. The parking indicator when driving wheels in the parking slot at your base now reliably appears very quickly, so you now now for sure that you are in the right place. Okay, and what else we have uh, for the gameplay? We fixed the bug that was preventing multiplayer, multiplayer clients from busting open doors by sprinting into them in the host game. We fixed the bug that made, made it possible to the community member backpacks. Members backpack without emptying it first cause it all contents teleport supply locker. Right, kind of cheating, exploiting. Throwing an explosive now cancels a heavy weapon swing rather than turning the weapon invisible, as neat as that was. <laughs> they also fixed several minor outfit clipping issues. Clouds no longer continue to move while the game is paused, because that was just weird. <sighs> this is it, guys. This this is it. Here you go. You, you have your lethal. So, again, my highest appreciation to Undead Labs because they listen to com community, they listen about your whining that it's not hard enough. Well, you want hard, you get hard. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I want to experience all the pain and suffering that Lethal provides, but of course I have to. That's how, I, how else I can report back to you how that was crazy experience. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, it was a pleasure to report to you and give you all the news. Well, news you can get everywhere, but from Russian guy, they are especially awesome. We'll meet you in next videos.